everybody. Welcome back. Thanks for joining your virtual drinking buddy. So, don't got anything cooking, but it's still nice out, so I thought I'd come out and crack open one of these. South Street Brut by First Street Brewing Company. So, First Street Brewing Company is out of Hastings, Nebraska, which I did not pick it up from the brewery. I actually got this from Wall to Wall Wine and Spirit. Um, because Hastings is, I think, about three hours from me. They're like central, maybe south central Nebraska. It, uh, so anybody familiar with Nebraska might know that Interstate 80 cuts through like the bottom third of the state, pretty much south of the Panhandle until it gets to the Panhandle, and then goes up into the Panhandle, and then through Wyoming. So Hastings is a little south of the interstate. All right. So, yeah, I got this primarily because I'm not familiar with what a Brute is. It looks like this is 4.5% ABV. Um, and it, on the side of the can here it says, Hopped Without Bite, Lower Cal, Crushable IPA, which I, I wouldn't have guessed. Cause I, I want to say that there's like a champagne that is called Brute. So... I guess maybe I was thinking it was going to be like a champagne style beer. I, I didn't even read this can. I just saw the the name when I was buying it and threw it in the, the my little carrier. It says it has a dry finish, which I, you know, would expect with a brute since champagne has a dry finish. And it says it's a session brute. So, I don't know. I'm not familiar. This is my first brute beer. Um... Right. But then they have their social media tags on here. It says, um, it has at First Street Brewing, hashtag be first class. So I suppose when I post this online, that's what I'll have to use. I don't always get that information, so um, it's kind of nice that they put that on here. I paid $1.99 for this can. There's also hashtag Taste of Hastings, um, 119 North St. Joseph Avenue, if anybody is interested. And, yeah, looks like that is about it. All right. <laughs> the last video I did, I had a an eruptor and made a little bit of a mess. Pouring out a nice golden color, a little bit of a soapy white head. Got some fisheye bubbles popping. It smells like an IPA, but um, mostly just bitter hops. Just yeah, just a little piney bitterness. That's really all I'm picking up. So, I guess there's only one thing left to do. Cheers. That's interesting. Not as dry of a finish as I was expecting. You get some tiny bitterness. There's something else there, but I cannot quite pick it out. Um, so yeah, it's not like other IPAs. It's not, um, there's no like fruit flavors in there to speak of. It, I'm not picking up any maltiness. And the drying really isn't, the dry finish really isn't that dry. It's very, very subtle. I, I just cannot place that. Um, and what's weird is it like it feels flat when it hits my tongue. If you've ever, anybody's ever drank a, a flat soda or I guess just drinking something that's not carbonated, that's more, that, that's kind of the sensation that I get, which is 
weird. It's not necessarily off-putting. It's just unique. know how to describe that flavor. It's not bad. Um, and I, I could drink multiples of these, I suppose. I mean, it's four and a half percent, so it's plenty of light, but and it's mild enough bitterness that's nice. It's just, it's, it has a, I don't want to say a weird flavor, just a flavor that I'm not able to describe. And I find that I run into that more than more times than I probably should. Excuse me. I guess I was maybe expecting something that at least kind of vaguely resembled champagne, but um, yeah, that's not the case. And now that I've had several sips of it, I actually feel it drying in my throat more than than on my tongue. I, but yeah, I don't know. It's an okay beer. I don't know that I'll ever get it again. Maybe if I'm ever in Hastings, I might get it as part of a flight, but I um, definitely won't be going out of my way to get this. It's um, it's not bad. It's worth trying, and I don't know. Maybe some people would really dig this. I don't know. But yeah, that's definitely a unique beer. Um, again, not terrible, just different. And since I'm starting to repeat myself, I'm going to let you move on with your life. I do appreciate you watching, and if you, you liked what you saw, please hit the like and subscribe button below, and don't forget to tell your friends. And this is the Malted Gentleman reminding you, you only have one liver, so use it wisely.